and welcome if you are young and restless particularly as a banking customer a lot of people are trying to understand how you will behave and how you will consume and more importantly how you will transact when it comes to banks one of the people who's trying to figure this out and create products and services in some way for your experience is Raj Mrutunjay uh, managing director at Talisma Corporation uh, Raj thank you very much for joining us so tell us uh, you know a lot of young people you consume and interact with banks differently thanks to internet and mobile and all of that what are the key differences and how would do you fit into this paradigm so i think when you look at the younger population mm. and the way they look at banking is extremely different from how you know probably my generation or generation before me looked at banking um unfortunately most of them are forced to have a bank account mm. because they all get paid to banks mm. you know there's no more cash given to their hand so uh, that's a part of the reason why they have banks uh you know especially the younger you are it's only a pass through mm. um so when they look at the spending and how they look at how they spend the money you know with all the ecss being set up on the bank with it's become so much easy banks are just looked at as commodity now mm. right and uh, for them you know if uh, they join another company they say hey listen i'm going to change your bank they have no problem with it mm. you know because they have no loyalties tied to bank mm. uh for them so it's just that's a, a big challenge that's a huge challenge i mean if you are if you are yeah. thinking of a banker it's a big challenge right. how do you keep the loyalties because right. it is not about the net current value of your customer mm. it's a future potential value of your customer mm. so if you look that you look at them being an at a younger age being your client and if you can keep them with you for 20 30 40 years that's when you maximize the value of a customer right. and so tell us how would you keep them for one year Le i mean leave alone right. 20 and 30 so years so what we do is we we provide tools and enable them mm. in engaging this customer you know these uh, clients mm. or prospective clients mm. for example things that they like doing is mm. sharing between friends mm. of saying hey listen you know i i did this in this bank or i took this insurance from this bank and i did this in this bank so sharing that experience mm. because you know when you have peer to peer communication happening mm. the branding is lot more you know uh, better mm. than me trying to push a product to you right. so are you uh, saying that you're also working on the social media absolutely so okay. that's one of the areas where we provide that platform mm. where there's a peer to peer communication happening mm. what somebody is doing they're able to express to another person and there's an influencing factor that kind of builds up mm -hmm. uh, through the social media and so using social media in a positive way mm -hmm. that's one way you can actually drive that yeah. another good example of how you can do that is you know how do you provide education to this because you know banking is not something everybody does from their life you know from the childhood so how do you help them learn that at what stages what they can do so we provide actually a uh, platforms where banks can actually do virtual learning classrooms virtual trainings uh, where they bring in the best in the uh, industry or people of their age and how they been But able are, to are allure them people really interested in all of this actually you will be surprised because everybody at the end of the day want to know how i can save some money okay right uh, so i can spend more mm. um so if you can tell them about listen you know here is how you can manage your taxation here is how you can manage your tax by actually doing these funds better mm. or investing in these uh, you know real estate funds or investing in these uh, you know infrastructure bonds mm. here is how you can actually save some money mm. and which you can actually get more liquidity that's the knowledge sort of back that's the knowledge so back tell us about what could happen in future what are the things that young people or any old people too i mean including me can expect and uh, experience thanks to technology uh, getting wrapped around banking so what's what you will see is actually going to be um, you know i i as a technologist i really say it's going to be cool mm -hmm. but actually it is not right because it is quite complex mm -hmm. in the way technology is going to evolve mobility is everywhere mm -hmm. i mean you're talking about mobile it's not just phones anymore uh, when you talk about mobility you talk about you know like google glasses now uh, you talk about the smart watches mm -hmm. uh, you talk about connected homes mm -hmm. uh so when you have so much of mobility that's going on like a, a simple example in at that at home if you have to pay bills uh, your devices can be actually connected for annual maintenance mm. which can automatically pay right at the end of your cycle mm. based on what your bank account says mm. why do you need you to be interfering in this right. so there is so much you can do with the banking and uh, payment is a very big part of this whole thing uh, currently the just the payment industry mobile payment industry is close to 300 billion Right? it's a huge industry so you think about all of that what's happening so the future is going to be lot more banking is going to be lot more connected to every part of a mobility device mm -hmm. of course the big debate is going to be safety versus convenience mm -hmm. but i think we you know there are different methods technologists like uh, you know technology companies like us are defining uh, to help 
ensure banks are not compromising their safety, at the same time providing more convenience to so the let customer. Let me ask you a general question, right? So uh, the feeling I would get is that yes, uh, uh, there is convenience, but at the same time, because of the stress on safety, the convenience is uh, in some ways diminishing, right? Because the number of uh, times I have to authenticate myself, either through a mobile uh, OTP or through some multiple passwords which keep changing every 15 days. So it's also becoming very, very complex and difficult to manage, particularly if I have more than one account. So when's this gonna change? Well, it could change pretty quickly. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's how quickly do can we move this technology through the process. Technology exists, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I keep telling a lot of people, technology is not the challenge now. Mm -hmm. It's the whole process change that has to happen. For example, there is nothing that stops us today of having the mobile phone take a picture of yours mm -hmm. and have your authentication done mm -hmm. through your profile, mm -hmm. right? And send it out there and say, yes, you are the same person who banks with me. Mm -hmm. You can do profiling of yours because the instantaneously, but the can send pictures. Be, will the Reserve Bank accept it? Right? That's the regulator the thing. Accept so the it? regulators coming together mm -hmm. with the process that has the industry has to change. The banking industry practices has to evolve towards that side. Right. So the change management is quite a long process. Right. And you're saying and that as a technology provider, you're ahead of the curve. Uh, in we some have ways, to be. But and the rest of the people have. We to have be. to be yeah. ahead of the curve because we show the trend in terms of saying here are different ways how you can actually do it. Right. And uh, eventually, there is going to be back and forth between the regulators and us. And the industry in us, which says, okay, I, I can't, you know, yes, this works, but, but, and then we eventually come up with solution mm -hmm. that addresses their core issues right. of ensuring this, like, you know, fingerprinting, uh, you know, iris reading, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all of that exists today, and a lot of mobile phones can actually do that, too. Mm -hmm. So you talk about and rural iPhone banking, 5, Samsung iPhone Galaxy, sign, 5, Samsung yeah. Galaxy, yeah. talk about uh, rural banking, a lot of that can be enabled through this channels as well. Mm -hmm. So there is technology that exists, mm -hmm. but does that technology collectively fit into the vision of what regulators and the industry is trying to drive? Mm -hmm. That's the, you know, uh, that's where we work with. That's mm -hmm. where we innovate. We work with the uh, industry to come up with innovative solutions mm -hmm. to bridge that gap and come up with solutions. Right. So last point, Kela, tell us one solution or one new experience that you might introduce shortly that you can talk about. Well, I think one of the, um, um, you know, uh, things that we're doing is from the social media side. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually very, very interesting. Uh, it is, uh, if you are somebody who has uh, gone there and uh, took an insurance, um, and if you ever claimed an insurance, mm -hmm. and if you actually, your claim went through fine, um, you can uh, choose to say, you know, hooray, mm -hmm. right, on the internet. Mm -hmm. And your whole community mm -hmm. of the people who are actually on the internet, who follow the same insurance, will get a message. Mm -hmm. And that's called social campaign. Okay, so uh, if, and this is quite powerful. Spam, I hope. It's not, it's okay. a social campaign. So okay. it's, if you're online, if you're connected, you subscribe, you get it. Mm. But it is, it's such a powerful marketing tool for uh, the industry, and it's a powerful marketing, you know, uh, information tool for the consumer. Right. Because I want to know, when does this work actually? Mm. Because, you know, in, and you who know, had a good experience. Yeah, because yeah. claims is not something we do every day. Right. But I should know that eventually if I do make a claim, I know, who actually has benefited from this. So con connecting the consumer, giving them that information at the fingertip is going to be very important. And uh, that's one of the areas that uh, we are uh, currently innovating and currently working. Uh, plenty of mobility devices, mobility-based solutions that's are coming out as well. Uh, I think at the end of the day, you look at uh, from a consumer, convenience for them to bank is the most important thing. Right, Raj, thank you so much for speaking with us. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.